Bow weep, grunt, weep, needy bong, everyone. My name's Code Slonim, and welcome to Until Dawn. Now, I recorded this for you guys two or three days ago, and it turned out that it didn't want to record my audio, so I decided to just get rid of the thing altogether. So I have tested and tested and tested this. The audio should be fine, so we're going to start back over. With the butterfly effect. Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Your actions will shape how your story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Dun, 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 dun. Jason! Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit wrong? No. She deserves I love her right there. Jessica is the sexiest bitch in this game. I'm just looking out for my girl, and Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, um, I'm not anybody's man. Ooh. Whatever you say, darling. You heard that, I guess, Emily. Hannah! Hannah! I just want to point out, by the way, that Hannah and Beth are supposed to be twins, but Beth is so much prettier than Hannah, even though they're played by the same actress. Hey, Hannah. Voice and face captured by the same actress. See, that was Hannah with the glasses. Here's Beth. And Jason. <clears throat> See, look. Did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Look at that ass. Mm. Look at it. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, Beth. Creepy, right? Tutorial. Yes, I know how to do this. By the way, this will be the fifth time. I Jeez, Josh. Episode for you. Brother, you've outdone us all. My two favorite characters in this game, though, is uh, Josh and. Oh, my two favorite characters in this game is Jessica and Josh. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better. Hotter! Out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. <laughs> Mike. X, X, X. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Uh, Mike's pants? I've got your note. Glad you can make it. Yeah. 
maybe we should start with a little sex. You know, making out. Oh. Maybe we should start with a little sex and see where it goes from there. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah, it's all Hannah, 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 hey. Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Yeah. Uh, let's wake our amazing brother. Josh. Josh. Josh, wake up. Guys, there's someone outside. Yeah, it's your sister. What the hell? Hannah! Hannah? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It was just a prank, Han. I hate Emily. I hate her with every ounce of my body. Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. We're going to make his play. We're not going to do none of these. I just want to see how they end up. Go fast. Follow the footprints. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Jesus. She turned into Cartman on South Park. Hannah, where are you? Did you think Hannah. I always love this right here. I like how she's looking up into her phone like first let me take a selfie Cheek. okay oh look at this tree i better take a selfie with it smile got it and i hate deer that sound like humans don't you or little girls it wasn't really human Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh. I just love some... I love this... Um, ooh, dragons. There's dragons in them there, forest. If you don't believe me, watch. Right up there, watch. See? Dragons. What the hell was that? For those of you who beat the game, you know what that is. Anna. Anna. But I like to think it's dragons. Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Yep, she is. Here, take my coat. Here. I think she's she's still cold. Give her your shirt too. She might need your bra too. You can just take it all off. Give it all to her. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah. It's that coat. See, earlier I was tripping when I had that coat on. And now she's tripping with that coat. These bitches be tripping. Back to the. No. 
<laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, it's a Jehovah's Witness. That's what's chasing them. That's why they're so, they don't want to be nowhere near it. Oh, dragon, just kidding. No. <laughs> now do you see where that came from? I told you you can't change what happened last year. You can only affect the future. See, that's Another good thing. You can't change what happened last year. So they have to die no matter what. So, you have committed to commands with this game. Yeah. I'll, I put it in my system, didn't I? I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may be, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Yes. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order. Okay, I will answer 100% honestly for you. Okay, 100% honest. Makes me horny. Mm hmm. So, how did that picture make you feel? Just told you, horny. Okay. I feel uneasy. I got a. Good. I feel uneasy. I got a erection in front of you, Doctor. Do you feel uneasy? My erection. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Is that a scarecrow? Oh, yeah. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? So, the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility <clears throat> of the supernatural. No. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. I'm 100% honest with you. Our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Wait, investigate if I'm being honest with you? Shouldn't you know that yourself? You're a psychologist, psychiatrist, side therapist, whatever you are. And I've been to these before, and I've never had one like this. Here's greatest song in the world. I'm going to not talk so you guys can hear this. I love this song. Hayden Pianetier. this song I mean it's awesome
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful See, tragedy. Told you. Awesome song. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against... It's me. They knew it. They knew I killed them. The land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, That's going to be my new intro. Well, hello, friends and fans. What do you guys think? Right. Just joking. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond <laughs> awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome super all excited. back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Yeah! So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know Transvestites. you're all probably worried about me. And oh. I know it's going to be no. tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. Would it? You know, thinking of them. If he wasn't drunk, you could have saved him. Quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sisters, and you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip we will never Wait. forget. All right? Yes. <laughs> let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Or party like we're fucking porn stars. Makes a huge difference. And back to the awesome song. Amy Van Roykel and Jeff Grace, thank you so much for writing that song. That song will be remembered years from now when this game is mentioned. At least for me it will be. That's one of the best parts of this game to me. So, I hope it is to everyone else too. Jason! I love how when you first meet them, it's like they're in a photo shoot. It's like, choo, 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 choo. Sam, diligent, considerate, adventurous, and Hannah's best friend. She wasn't too good of a friend for Hannah. She let them play that joke on her. She could have just stood outside the door and be like, no, don't go here. It's a joke. And she'd still be alive. But no, can't do that. If we did that, it would be way too easy. Also, there would be no game because it would just be like, okay, game's over. I mean, I'm sure they could have done something else with it, but that's basically what it would have been. Oh, there's a note on the gate. I wonder what it says. Uh, what? Gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Damn it. Good thing she used to be a cheerleader. Get you, you guys get it? It's a Heroes reference. She played Claire Bennett on Heroes, who was a cheerleader. 
save the cheerleader, save the world. That's why we've got to make sure she lives. We've got to save the cheerleader so we can save the world. Also, what do you guys think of that new uh, Heroes? Do you think it's going to be good? I don't even know if it's come out yet. Like, I don't know if I want to watch it, so I've not really paid attention to it. Like, I love the original Heroes, but I feel like this one's just going to be a letdown. Aww. Aww. Hey, little fella. Hey, little fella. <laughs> yes, but I know what my next objective is. Hey, Sam. Do you think I'm hot? Ooh, baby. I always had a huge crush on Hayden Pantier. Of course, I'm sure a lot of us did, but... <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, excuse me. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams of prophecies and possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Good for Chan. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts and pick up the totem tiny of a real cuddle butterfly. Blah, 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 blah. Wait a second. Look at her fingernail polish. Isn't that the Walmart logo? I mean, look, blue and white to begin with. And that looks just like the Walmart logo. Like, right now, go to walmart.com. Pause this video, go to walmart.com. That's what that logo is that you'll see on the front. So you're telling me, is this game sponsored by Walmart? Is that just like a... What, they throw, throw an ad in? Product placement, that's what it is. Except, instead of a product, it's... Walmart. The past is beyond our control. Chris? You bags here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Yes. He shrunk down to a minute size and jumped into the bag to jump out and scare you. Right when you reach for that phone, he's gonna jump out. Ooga, booga, 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 booga. He's a, a good friend of mine. I'm not gonna do that. Chris. <clears throat> Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, choo, 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 choo. Yes, my camera sneezes when I take pictures. It goes choo, 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 choo. Yeah. Chris, methodical, protective, humorous, has a crush on Ashley. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? Porn. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. It's porn. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. Nope, it's his penis. She's gonna walk around the corner and it's just gonna he's just gonna pull his penis out. It could still be porn. They if they recorded that. I don't see your penis out. Oh, shooting range. Beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is 
a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge. Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. You wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how skilled I am. Cool. You ready for this? I'm gonna look at you guys. No, I'm just joking. Watch how quick I can do this, though. This is like, I've played it so much, I can pretty much memorize where all this stuff's at. Look at that. Wow, nice shooting tips. Oh yeah, I'm bad. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. You know what they couldn't shoot? I know something that not just anybody could shoot. And I'll show you in about three, two, one. That, that. Bullseye! What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. Hey, so what? effed up. I was alive about ten seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, my God, cut oh. that. Get it away. Ah! Oh. Jesus, are, are you okay? Aunt Crow really hated Walmart. That's why I attacked her. Hey, hey, look. Our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. See? This, this kids, is why you shouldn't tell your parents you want to go to Walmart all the time. Because if you do, crows will swoop down and attack you because they don't like Walmart. Guys. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Yes. More than certainly. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Somebody comes up here. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? Keep people out. Or keep people in. <laughs> Just joking. After you. Oh, real gentleman. I'm gonna avoid all spoilers, so I'm watching everything I say for you guys. I don't wanna spoil this for those who hasn't watched it yet. Cause my favorite my top three favorite games of all time now is uh Resident Evil 2, Parasite Eve, the original, and now this game is third. I, I love this game. Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanitarium for healthy body and mind. <laughs> They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Oh, look. Bathtub. I can sit here and spawn in the bathtub. Huh? And yes, you have to do that. Now, look up her skirt. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Who wears a skirt, by the way, out in a snowy environment? I mean, seriously? What's the point of that? Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Good. Since he got his first pubic hair. Or touched his first booby. I don't know. No, no. It was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Good talk. Friend zone. You know, let's, just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. <sighs> you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? I love this story. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. 
but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Great story, right? And became friends to this day. <clears throat> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Oh. Boom. Butterfly effect. I love how they cooperate. So he's like, boom. Butterfly effect. When it was supposed to be like, butterfly effect. You know. Here's the hot bitch. Jess. And see, I don't like blondes. I've never been a thing for, had a thing for blondes, but she... Ooh, you couldn't stop me from getting a hold of that if she wanted me to. She... Confident, trusting, irreverent. Mike's new girlfriend. Oh, I wonder what that's going to do to Emily. Hopefully kill her. Oh, let me just go open the door for you guys. Oh God, you're a ghost. Hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck yes. In a stupid uh. Please let us out. Pretty please. <laughs> oh my God. Oh I my God. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. Well, I got a little meat on my boner. Oh, she don't believe you, Chris. But whip. That sounds like. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. But whip. That sounds like uh somebody doesn't know how to do a whip sound. But whip. I wonder. Or uh, when somebody says like I'm rubber and you're glue. So it's like ba whip. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out. I'm in. Huh. Yep. You also are wearing butterflies on your undies. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. Right. She nice. she's really warm, except for <laughs> right in here. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. Me. Me, Mike. What? I mean, you know, whoever. I mean, whoever. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Mike sex. They forgot. Bitch, whore, slut, and needs to die. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, motivated, ambitious, active. Emily's new boyfriend. Also, the only black guy in the game. Uh, how, what are you doing here, Matt? Yeah, have you not watched any horror movies? You don't have the, uh, how do I put this? The complexion for protection. <laughs> you know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? I'm moving that over there. Sorry, I'm... I actually have somebody talking in the chat, so... Okay, so here we go. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. I love how I'm carrying all her stuff. Up here again. Like, she can't carry anything. What do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> 
Nope, it's not Jesus. It's just Mike. Mike. Intelligent. Driven. Persuasive. Mike. Emily's ex. <laughs> also, the Jamie Lannister of this game. I like really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> At what point went running backward was he going to clock him? Oh, <laughs> How do you well, knock somebody out running backward? Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. You always get like this. All right, Mike, back off. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. Yep. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? You're kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? Why not? I've... Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, Has he got a tire? Look at that. I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot. You gotta see that. To her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. No. There. It's important, Matt, please. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, fine. I'll take the bags the rest of the way since I've been taking them all this way to begin with. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Mwah. Hate her. I know I keep saying that. I know it's going to get annoying to some people, but I really, really hate her. I, I mean, there's literally no one else I hate more than her. <gasps> Ashley, academic, inquisitive, forthright, has a crush on Chris. That's right, they have a crush. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Hmm, I wonder what- oh my god, it, oh, it, is that Slut and Mike? We're not in the friend zone kind of way. Not, check not in the friend zone kind of way. You know, friend zone, like what Sam put Mike in, or not Mike, what Sam put Chris in a few seconds ago. Alright, what's up here? Oh! oh. <laughs> Forgot about that. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Ah, oh, black man, scary. Scare you, sort of scary, but not like for real scary. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. No. Uh, Miss Lee. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> for real? I bet I can. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. Alright. Uh, sure, if you say so. Butterfly effect update. Let's just read this book right here. Ten things I love about Jessica. Her hair. Her eyes. Her snowballs! Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Yeah, put them up. Right now. The put them up. to retaliate. What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody?
I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, Bam, right in the face. Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, Bam, right in the face again. Hey! Oh snap! Oh snap! I love this music. <laughs> Hello. This is like some porno top music. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. Bam! Right in the face. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. <laughs> this is the kind of relationship I want. Where when it snows, you just have a you can't hide from me, Michael. snowball fight. All your tricks. Hey, birdie. Catch. Oh, no. Damn, Chess. What you did? I know, I know. Oh, no. Poor birdie. Poor little Tweety birdie. Stone cold, Chess. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, you did. Oh, my God. Michael? Gotcha. He's done. Done. You're done, son. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Ooh. All right. All right. My Confident. So I like it. My favor, then. You can go down on me anytime. Jessica, the snowball queen. Ew. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. It sounds really dirty. Don't look up what a snowball is, and that's disgusting. Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. But you'll have to wait until later. Why? Is it a little cold out? A little shrinky shrinky? Do you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like. Whoa! Oh my god! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, it was. I mean, wow, if you hadn't pulled us out of the way. Toast. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Yay, back to you. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? A little sleepy. I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest with me. I was, though. An expert with years of experience. You don't think you can mislead me. I didn't. I answered honestly. This time... At least I thought I did. You guys think I answered honestly? Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most angry. All right, so we're going to answer this honestly for you guys so you can see what I'm really scared of. All right, men worry me. That's 100% true. Out of men and women, men worry me more. I definitely fear crowds. I have social anxiety. I fear drowning. I'm hydrophobic. Neither one of these scare me, but rats scare me more than snakes. Because a rat doesn't really have to do anything. It can just infect everything around without touching or biting or anything. Blades are more scary than guns. Definitely. Cockroaches more than rats. Um, scarecrows more than clowns. Um, crows more than gore, I guess. Oh. Did that startle you? No. Sorry. You're doing very well. Oh, like he wanted a high five. He's like, did I startle you? Oh, well, high five. Oh, no. Leave me hanging? Okay. I tried to. These things right here are so relaxing. 
If you ever have trouble trouble sleeping, get one of those. Or like called like a metronome or something like that. Spiders. Spiders. Who fears cockroaches over spiders? Needles. One hundred percent. Zombies. Which stems into my fear of social anxiety. Or my social anxiety. Uh, needles more than dogs. <laughs> needles more than thunderstorms. This is very interesting. Yes, it is. I am very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders, zombies. And needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. No. In no combination does that sound like a good Friday night. Or Saturday night. Or any night. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Do, do, do you guys think that would make a good combination of any day? Like, zombie spiders running around with needles, injecting people. Ah, that hurts. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, can. Hate her. There's Jason. Why can't Jason hurry up and kill her? Just so you guys know, I am going to try to kill Emily as much as I can, so. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. Yes, I understand. Whoa, hello. And to answer the question on video that I just got a few minutes ago, uh, Sam... I think is more of a woman's name than a uh, boy's because Sam, when I hear Sam, I think of Samantha. I don't think of like Samuel. Every time I climb it. Oh, yeah. It feels the same to me. Josh. Complex, thoughtful, loving, Hannah and Beth's brother. Wasn't too thoughtful or loving when he got drunk, passed out so his sisters could die. But alright guys, so we're going to end this video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for the support. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Remember to share this with everybody. Tell everybody about my channel.